Hey there, and welcome back to Triple B, where we showcase a board game and pair that board game with a bourbon or beer in order to enhance your gameplay experience and to overall provide for that truly memorable game night with your friends and family. So in today's episode, the board game of choice is Ticket to Ride, where players collect train cars and claim railway routes across a map of North America. It was published in 2004 by Days of Wonder and designed by Alan Moon. Uh, Ticket to Ride has sold millions of copies worldwide and has created many expansions throughout the year. Uh, much like our Catan uh, video from our episode one, Ticket to Ride's approachability and ease of learning has elevated it to that gateway game status for hobby board games, where it is a kind of board game that helps folks transition over from those mainstream board games like Monopoly or Life uh, over to the more creative, thematic, and thinky games that more and more people are gravitating towards today. We're going to pair Ticket to Ride with uh, Bib and Tucker Bourbon. I picked Bib and Tucker Bourbon because of their, their theme conjures up uh, kind of the Old West and the pioneering spirit and that expansionism uh, of, of America during that time frame, uh, which kind of aligns with the adventurous nature of Ticket to Ride. Uh, Bib and Tucker comes in six and 10 year small batch bourbons, as well as a 12 year single barrel bourbon and a six year double charred batch bourbon as well. So without uh, any further ado, let's dive into the pairing. Okay, here we are with Ticket to Ride. So in Ticket to Ride, the goal is to have the most points at the end of the game. And you do this through several ways. Uh, the first way is by completing destination tickets, by connecting the two cities that are on the destination tickets for points. Here's an example of one. This is Montreal, New Orleans. You'll get 13 points if you're able to connect all your little train cars by the end of the game between Montreal and New Orleans. And... As you can see here, um, New Orleans is down here, and then we got Montreal up here. So again, this is a map of North America that includes points up there in Canada. Second way to gain points is by laying down train cars. As you can see here, um, sets of train cars. The green player has four train cars that he put down between El Paso and Dallas. Uh, and you, those are immediate points, unlike the destination tickets, where those points uh, you get at the end of the game, and you keep those kind of hidden from the other players because you have those cards face down. They don't know if you're completing your destination tickets or not. But so those, those are kind of surprise points at the end of the game. But immediate points would be if you put down your train cards uh, down between two points. In this case, the green player put down four of his little green train cars. And on the legend here, four cards, will, uh, train cars will give you seven points. Lastly, the to get how to get points is at the end of the game, if you happen to have the longest continuous route uh, line, if you will, of, of your train cars, that regardless of destination tickets and and, the, and what cities they are, if you have the longest one, then you'll get these 10, you get 10 points at the end of the game, You can, which is enough to potentially sneak in and win you the game. So keep that in mind. So on your turn, there's three things you can do. And you're going to do one uh, of those three on your turn. One is you can grab two of these train cars that are here uh, there's always five out for you to pick from, or you could pick blindly off the top of the deck, uh, two as well. And over time, you kind of collect these sets. So there's a little bit of set collection in this game. And then if you collect enough of one and you're ready to put down on your turn, you can also decide to cash in and put your uh, cash in your train cars, uh, cards for train cars. In this case, for example, the green player must have cashed in at one previous turn for these red train cards uh, in order to put four of his train cars down to get those points that I mentioned earlier. So that's the first and second thing you can do on your turn. Last thing on your turn, you can grab three of these destination tickets and you can you can keep all three of them, but you have to keep at least one. And that's real important because you keep these destination tickets uh, hidden, a secret from the other players. Like you see here, the yellow player has two and the green player has one over there. And at the end of the game, again, like I said, uh, you will get negative points for any of these routes you did not complete. And so your opponents don't know how many you've completed or not. You can have a stack of six or seven destination tickets over on your end. and Your opponents don't know that perhaps you have not been able to fulfill any one of them. The end of the game is triggered when the first player has two train cars remaining. And that triggers the end game. And they're going to final scoring where you tally up all those points. And whoever has the most points wins the game. And now pairing Bib and Tucker Bourbon with a Ticket to Ride was a pretty simple uh, choice for me. Uh, it's actually helps create a pretty 
awesome combination of strategy, camaraderie, and that indulgence feel and taste during gameplay that Bib and Tucker brings. It really helped uh, set the stage for an exciting uh, adventure during game nights. Uh, the game's surprisingly tactical depth and competitive spirit that it's hard to really tell from this quick overview, but it is real strategic, like I said before. It's really the perfect backdrop, I think, for savoring that rich and sophisticated flavor that Bib and Tucker bourbon brings, especially this six-year small batch uh, bottle that we have in the video today. Uh, as you and your fellow players kind of strategize, laying down your train routes and racing to complete destination tickets, Bib and Tucker Bourbon really does add an extra layer of enjoyment. That's pretty much the bottom line. Uh, I think bourbon's, uh, this bourbon's smooth and velvety texture complements that smooth progress uh, of putting down your trains across the board during gameplay. Uh, it's warm caramel vanilla notes that I, I kind of feel uh, uh, when I do drink uh, Bib and Tucker, it creates that harmonious contrast uh, to the game's intensity, especially when it kind of ramps up near the end of the game. But when it's not your turn, it does often offer moments of relaxation in between turns. That's for certain. So I highly recommend this fantastic combination uh, for your next game night. Hey, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please ensure you leave them in the comment section below. If you haven't done so already, please like this video with a thumbs up and like and follow us on our Facebook page. Also, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel as well. Uh, if you have any uh, questions or comments that you want to send by email, you can reach us at tripbgames at gmail.com. Thanks again, and we'll catch you next time.